driving from Edmonton to Vermilion, and every other week, Dr. Baczynski does this 200 kilometer trip to do his surgeries. And for me, the question is, could this be a solution to reducing some of the long wait times that we have here in Alberta? This is the clinic area. This is uh, where I see my patients. We meet this foot surgeon in a quiet hallway at the Vermilion Health Center. In its health action plan, the province says there's an opportunity to have more surgeons working in underused operating rooms. In fact, about 8% of Alberta's ORs are not staffed right now. Why did this model make sense to you of, you know, having a clinic in Edmonton, but then doing the surgeries here? Yeah, so it's just, um, you know, at the time when I was applying for privileges, it was extremely difficult to find time in the operating room. And so just came out of necessity, had to find available OR time. And it was here. So do you think more surgeons could follow this model, could do their surgeries outside the city for even patients who live in a bigger urban center? I believe that there is a sweet spot of surgeries that can be performed uh, with this kind of model where patients are traveling for their surgeries. Not every surgery should be performed like this. You know, patients that are quite ill or, or, or not medically stable, this doesn't suit them very well because of the travel involved. And also tiny little procedures that, you know, like a mole removal, nobody wants to drive for a couple of hours to have that type of procedure either. But there's a lot of elective surgery that can be performed like this quite safely. While people from rural Alberta are used to coming to the city for medical procedures, more and more Albertans in major cities are willing to travel too, which can mean much shorter wait times. The healing process has been amazing. Like for this restaurant owner in Edmonton's Alberta Avenue neighborhood, his doctor recommended going to Camrose for knee replacement surgery. How much of a difference did that make in terms of the wait time for you? It, I would say probably uh, allowed me to have surgery a year to a year and a half sooner. So, like, amazing. Wait times for knee replacement surgeries have increased drastically in Canada over the last few years, and Alberta is below the national average. It was an overnight stay after the surgery, and I was just made to feel really, really safe. I, I, I can't express enough how positive the experience was. While it's not the only solution, some doctors say it can help to have more patients and staff willing to make that trip. By using the hospitals that, that we have existing, we can increase capacity and, and without a doubt that will impact wait times in the busier centres. And AHS says it is working to move more urban surgeons to rural areas. That offers some hope, with some short-staffed rural ORs now closed for months and even years. Ariel Fournier. CBC News, Vermilion.